Raise your hand if you're ready for some solid Alpha Lee Amplify colors. If you guys remember my last Alpha Lee video, the Ombre, the Here Comes the Sun collection, a lot of the responses that I saw were the same. And that was, look, this is cool and all, not really my thing, I want more solids. I'm pretty sure Alpha Lee heard y'all, cause here we are. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen the colors yet. I'm sure you have all over Instagram. Now, the new Amplify colors are gonna be releasing in some dark, solid tones. Normally, seeing as it's May, happy May, by the way, I would be like, where's my summer and spring colors? Like, forget the darks right now. However, when it comes to the Amplify leggings, it seems like the lighter you go in the shade, the more sheer it is. So I'm actually really excited to see the darker tones. And I know a lot of you do agree with that. You want some darker colors but do not get it twisted. We do actually have some really bright light, fun spring and summer colors in this launch. They're coming out with some more stride shorts, infinity tech jackets, and velocity crop top, the short sleeve crops. So we're gonna be talking about all of that. So this collection will be launching this Saturday, May 7th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because I always do a 24 hour countdown story prior to the launch so you don't miss out. When it comes to the new Amplify colors, we're looking at five different unique colors that are launching. We have the Scarlet. I have a feeling this one's gonna be a hot topic. I just do. We have Storm Gray, Chocolate, Chocolate, Pure Blue. This might be my favorite out of all of them. And they're also launching a Staple Black, which is a restock. All of these colors you just saw will be available in the leggings, the regular shorts, and the Revival Sports bras. The bikers, however, they're only gonna be launching in four different colors, the black, storm gray, pure blue, and chocolate. You might notice that some of these colors look familiar. It's true, there's some similar colors that have launched in the past. I do have a few of them, so I will be comparing the colors so you know just how different the new ones are. And if you're here for spring and summer colors only, then you will in fact find that in the stride shorts. Here I have the electric peach color and the citrus slice. Also have the Infinity Tech Jacket in the Citrus Slice as well. They will be launching it in Electric Peach. Kinda wish I got that one too, but can't complain. And for the cherry on top of the cake, we got some Velocity Short Sleeve Crop Tops in the Electric Peach and the Static Lavender. This is actually the only piece that I have in this lavender color. Super pretty, I'm pretty sure it's only available in this crop top. Are we doing shorts or leggings first? Let's start with leggings and work our way up to the shorter inseams. So we'll do leggings, biker shorts, and then regular shorts. Let's go. Wanna know something really cool that I think you guys are gonna love? When I first put these leggings on, first thing I noticed was the thickness compared to the last few launches, especially the ombre for crying out loud, that was like paper thin. This legging, I felt it right away, that difference when I was pulling it up my leg and I was cinching it up, I was like, wow, there's some extra density here that wasn't here during the previous launches. This makes me feel so much more secure when wearing these. Cause I'm not gonna lie, if they got any thinner than they've been, I really wouldn't be able to wear them anymore because they're so thin that I feel like I'm gonna rip a hole through them. Waistband is still the same type of compression. If you know the Amplify, you know that most of the compression is in the waistband. They didn't switch that up. It's still a three-tiered taper waistband. You guys are gonna appreciate the lettering that's back. I know some of you were like, I don't know if I really dig the ombre script because it looks like the Pulse collection. But now you have the signature block logo that's just a normal print that's stitched right into the band again. And as you can see, the material right here is the same as it's always been. So they didn't switch up the material. This pure blue, what are our thoughts here? This is more or less a bluish green color in my opinion. I'm seeing tinges of a dark green mixed in with a blue. So in case you're curious, that's the shade that I'm going with is a bluish green. This is the most spring color you're gonna find in the Amplify collection today. Very happy to see that it's pretty squat proof. I would give it an 85%. Still not bad though. I feel like going commando, you should be okay. I never go commando in Amplify though. Right now I am wearing a seamless panty because it will give me the meanest camel toe in life. And I can't deal with that, especially with this material riding up. Mm -mm. But as you can see, with a nice seamless panty, smooth as can be. So I'm looking at the Scarlet Revival bra with the chocolate amplified leggings. This is so dark that, can you see my glue separation in this? <laughs> That's all I care about, how's it look? Now this is no milk chocolate. This is a 95% cocoa organic chocolate. Let's do a quick comparison with the new chocolate 
and the old mocha color. I wish I had a huge variety of leggings to showcase and compare with, but keep in mind, I only started really getting into Alpha Elite maybe a year ago, a little less. So I don't have the biggest arsenal just yet. So this is the old mocha. This is the dark, and this is the new chocolate. As you can see, the mocha was a much more faded brown look. This is a dusty chocolate. This one's super rich, super dark. If you look closely, this dark of a brown almost looks black in certain lighting, but it's not. So let's get this mocha right on out of here because in with the new, hello. So it's still very squat proof. Seeing as this is the darkest color that's gonna be available in the new Amplify other than the black, I was really hoping this would be 100% squat proof but I think it kind of goes without say at this point in time. The Amplify leggings are never gonna be 100% squat proof. <laughs> Not with this type of material. All the aspects of this legging are the same as the previous one you just saw. Just Let's talk real quick about the Revival bra and then we'll move on to the shorts. So in case you've never tried the Revival bra, I would definitely say it's true to size, just like the Amplify leggings. Everything's in a small, you do have removable bra pads, thick straps, but a strappy back. It's very consistent in terms of being a full set. Same exact material throughout the bra and the legging. Extremely stretchy, just like the leggings. Like as a set, I feel like this just feels good. It feels comfortable. I feel secure. I don't feel my titties juggling around. I feel like this is a really nice moderate support for my 34 Bs. I can't complain. It cuts in such a way where I'm not seeing any bra bulging right here. I love that. I don't want to feel a dig right here when I'm trying to do my chest flies, so that I do appreciate. It's a very comfortable bra. Let's move on to the shorts. We're gonna be trying on the storm gray color in both the regular shorts and the biker length. Check out that difference. So it looks like there's a difference of about, what, three inches or so? Here's a nice look at the difference between the biker and the shorts, the regular shorts. So each Amplify short, the biker and the regular shorts are in a size medium in today's video. I sized up from my regular size small because within the past six months, I noticed that I just prefer tighter shorts, tight fitted shorts to be a size up. I do think they're true to size. You could have stuck to your true size. Me personally, I'm glad I sized up because I am not dealing with cinching. This feels 10 times stretchier. Look at that. <laughs> I feel more airy. I feel like just more free. The small's cool with the leggings, but I don't know, man. I, I would stick to my medium. This is super comfy. The cool thing about the Amplify is the fact that it's just such a body molded legging. So no matter what size you're really going for, even if you're off a little bit and it's a little too big for you, it'll still suck into the where it matters. So I'm not really seeing any extra material here. So even though this is a size up, it's not like I'm seeing all this extra bag or wrinkling. I'm not seeing any of that. It's still lying smooth. I mean, I guess you could say I got a little bit of extra room right here, but it's not enough for me to be like, all right, let me go back to my size small. In this storm gray color, even with the sizing up, it's not as constricted as the small would be. I'm still seeing a lot of sheerness. It's about 70%. Kind of figured that with this light of a color. I actually have an older pair of their medium gray right here. I mean, to the naked eye, you would think they're kind of the same color, really. It's very hard to, to see. So keep that in mind. If you already have the medium gray and you're thinking about the storm gray, you're in love with grays, they're kind of one in the same. This scarlet red, oh, so, so off season. Here I am, I'm still liking it though. So these are their shorter shorts, right? They added on an inch to the short. I'm happy about that. I didn't really care for their shorter shorts because I just don't wear that kind of thing to the gym. <laughs> that extra inch just made this something that I could see myself wearing more. Again, this is a size medium. I am so happy with this medium. I realized when I did the Amplify shorts a few months ago when they came out with those real, real light, beautiful spring Amplify shorts, I remember thinking to myself, oh my God, these are so beautiful. I should have sized up. And here I am, I finally learned my lesson and I wouldn't have it any other way. I think that this red scarlet color is a little more compressive in the band, since this is a medium, to the gray you just saw in the medium. So I felt like the gray were a little bit looser, less compressive. This color, a little more compressive. So keep that in mind, I do believe 
I do believe, just from what I'm gathering here, is that the darker red scarlet color has a little more compression than that light storm gray. Real quick, I wanna compare this new scarlet red to the copper color. Remember this one? I was going crazy for this around the fall. But this is how they look side by side. This is clearly much more of a darker, almost with a little bit of that burgundy purple color to it. This scarlet red is more of a pure red. As you can see, these new colors launching on the 7th are a bit more saturated. It doesn't have as much marl as the older ones. Like this color right here, if you look closely, has a ton of really thin black marl going throughout, which is giving a much more darker look to the entire legging. Looking at the scarlet red, I'm not seeing any marly breakup. Same with the rest of the colors that are launching. If you look closely, there's no marl. I don't know if you guys are gonna love that or hate it. I personally don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't care either way. It's the light gray has the most marl, if you will, or the most noticeable marl. I do believe this is the most squat proof that I've seen so far in this video. Again, I sized up, so that might have something to do with it. But with that being said, I'm not seeing any crazy sheerness around the cheek area like I've been with the other colors. So I'm trying on the chocolate biker shorts to see if I still get that little bit of gathering and bunching. Yeah. So it's looking like it's a biker short thing. I'm actually feeling a little more room right around the groin area. A lot more stretch. I mean, a lot more stretch. So I think the biker shorts just had that naturally less compressive fit. All right, closing out the show really quick with the Infinity Stride Short, the Velocity Crop Top Short Sleeve, and the Infinity Tech Jacket. So their Stride Short is their signature lined short. You know me, I love Shorts with a built-in liner for the summertime. Truth is, am I gonna choose this short or the Amplify short? I actually choose this. I feel like this kind of short is a little more versatile for my lifestyle and just more comfortable overall. I feel like Amplify shorts have a time and a place. But for my everyday use, it's this short we're looking at. The liner is super short, as you can see. Like, I think it's only three inches, but the overlay is longer, all right? This overlay is super thick. It's still lightweight, but there's a lot of thickness to this. This isn't that very like thin, thin windbreaker overlay. Damn, this is pretty dense and it seems like it's gonna be quite durable. I'm only seeing one zipper pocket on the outer layer. I would say they're super true to size. Like I've said in my previous videos, if you size down in their looser fitted shorts, you run the risk of this area just being a little too close in the groin department and might just cinch in awkwardly and be uncomfortable. I know, especially without underwear, you're asking for it to ride up. So keeping the sizing just your true size, I feel like is the best way to go. The crop top is really flattering because it's got a lot going on in terms of movement. This has a total baby doll fit. It's curvy, it's huggy in certain areas right around here. If you look closely, these sleeves look like they were literally cut. There's no stitching at the edges here, so it kind of flares out a little bit on the shoulders. The entire backing is complete mesh, so this is one big ventilation machine. The front is almost like a heavy, thicker cotton, but you do have some stretch in it overall, so it is very comfortable. No restriction whatsoever around the sleeves because again, they are cut. The tech jacket is awesome because when I'm just touching it, it's not a thin windbreaker. Like I said with the shorts, you have some density, a little bit of that thick ruggedness. I would say the entire infinity, the stride shorts, velocity, you name it. I think this is all very true to size. You have a quarter zip jacket, two side pockets right here that zip. Yeah, these tech jackets were super popular when they first came out. Love seeing the evolution in their different colors. I'm here for it. I'm here for this summer type of style color. If you're thinking about sizing down in this because it's slightly oversized, I would not only because even with this unzipped as I'm going like this, if you're depending on how much you're moving in this, I feel like if you want to be ultra limber in this type of jacket, you're not gonna wanna size down. Perfectly true to size in my opinion. All right, so what are we thinking of the new colors? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Comment down below. A huge thank you if you use my code GATA at checkout when shopping Alphalete. It really does help support this channel. Can't thank you enough. Please do let me know if you do use my code so I can thank you. Definitely don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos just like this. You do not want to miss what's coming up. We have the new Buff Bunny Sugar Rush. That'll be the next video coming up. That is such a beautiful collection. Have you guys seen it yet? Oh my God. I cannot wait to film that one. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you and I will catch you in my next video.